The Atlantic Ocean is vast and unforgiving. A realm of endless blue stretching beyond the horizon where the sky meets the sea in a seamless blend of mystery and majesty. A watery expanse separating continents and teeming with mystery. Beneath its surface lies a world unknown, a vibrant ecosystem that thrives in the depths. For millennia, it stood as a formidable barrier, inspiring both awe and terror. Its storms, fierce and unpredictable, tested the mettle of even the bravest sailors. Early civilizations clung to its edges, venturing out only a short distance, their fragile vessels at the mercy of capricious winds and unknown currents. The ocean was both a provider and a destroyer. Legends flourished amidst the fear. Stories of the deep, passed down through generations, painted the Atlantic as a realm of mythical creatures and endless peril. Tales of sea monsters, treacherous sirens, and edges of the world kept even the bravest hearts ashore. The unknown was a powerful deterrent. The Atlantic represented the unknown, a watery abyss hiding countless secrets in its depths. It was a place where reality and legend intertwined. Yet, the allure of what lay beyond, the promise of new lands and riches, whispered in the ears of adventurers. The call of the unknown was irresistible. The call of the unknown, the yearning to conquer this formidable barrier, eventually drew intrepid souls westward. They were driven by dreams and a sense of destiny. Driven by a thirst for knowledge, wealth, and perhaps a touch of glory, these pioneers dared to challenge the might of the Atlantic. Their courage was matched only by their determination. Their voyages, fraught with peril and uncertainty, marked the beginning of a new era in human history an era of exploration, discovery, and the gradual bridging of a once insurmountable divide. The Atlantic, once a barrier, became a bridge to new worlds. Conquering the Atlantic demanded more than just courage. It required knowledge, skill, and an unyielding spirit of adventure. Early navigators relied on rudimentary tools and celestial observations to guide their way through the vast, uncharted waters. The stars, those celestial beacons, became their compass, their maps etched not on parchment, but in the heavens themselves. Each constellation told a story, a guide to the unknown. The invention of the astrolabe, an instrument for measuring the altitude of stars and planets, revolutionized navigation, making it more precise and reliable. Sailors could now determine their latitude, their position north or south of the equator, with greater accuracy reducing the uncertainty of their voyages. This innovation, coupled with the use of the magnetic compass, which pointed consistently north, provided a new level of confidence and accuracy to seafaring, transforming the way they navigated. No longer were sailors solely reliant on dead reckoning, estimating their position based on their last known location and their ship's speed. They had tools that brought science to their art, with these new tools, the vastness of the Atlantic became slightly less daunting, a challenge they were now better equipped to face. They had begun to unlock the secrets of navigating the open ocean, paving the way for future explorers and the age of discovery. Navigational tools alone could not conquer the Atlantic. The vessels themselves had to evolve to withstand the rigors of open ocean voyages. Early ships, often little more than glorified rafts, gave way to sturdier designs capable of weathering storms and carrying more provisions. The Caravelle, a small, highly maneuverable ship developed by the Portuguese, emerged as a game-changer. With its lateen sails borrowed from Arab designs, the Caravelle could sail closer to the wind, allowing for exploration of previously unreachable coastlines. Its shallow draft enabled it to navigate rivers and explore inland waterways, further expanding the reach of European explorers. These advancements in shipbuilding, coupled with improved navigational techniques, paved the way for longer, more ambitious voyages. The Atlantic, once a fearsome barrier, was slowly transforming into a pathway for exploration and discovery. In 1492, Christopher Columbus, equipped with the latest navigational tools and a fleet of caravels, embarked on a westward journey that would forever alter the course of history. His successful crossing of the Atlantic, while initially a search for a new route to the East Indies, 
opened up a new world to European exploration, conquest, and colonization. Columbus's voyages, followed by a wave of other intrepid explorers, shattered the illusion of an impassable ocean. The Atlantic was no longer a barrier, but a bridge, a watery highway connecting Europe to the Americas. This newfound accessibility triggered a period of unprecedented cultural exchange, trade, and unfortunately, conflict. Section 5. The Columbian Exchange, a world transformed. The establishment of regular transatlantic voyages initiated what historians call the Columbian Exchange, a period of profound biological and cultural exchange between the Eastern and Western hemispheres. This era marked the beginning of a new global interconnectedness, where the movement of goods, people, and ideas began to shape the world in unprecedented ways. Plants, animals, diseases, and ideas traverse the Atlantic, forever altering the demographics, economies, and environments of both continents. The exchange was not just limited to tangible goods, but also included the transfer of knowledge and cultural practices. From the Americas, potatoes, tomatoes, maize, and chocolate found their way to Europe, transforming European cuisine and agriculture. These new crops became staples in European diets, leading to population growth and changes in farming practices. Horses, cattle, and wheat made the journey westward, reshaping the landscapes and lifestyles of indigenous populations. The introduction of these animals and crops had profound impacts on the social and economic structures of the New World. However, this exchange also had a dark side. The movement of people and goods brought with it unintended consequences that were devastating for many. European diseases, such as smallpox and measles, decimated indigenous populations, who had no immunity to these foreign ailments. The loss of life was catastrophic, leading to significant cultural and societal disruptions. The Columbian Exchange, while a testament to human ingenuity and the bridging of the Atlantic, serves as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences that often accompany such momentous shifts in history. It highlights the dual-edged nature of progress and the complex legacy of global interactions. Section 6. The Age of Sail, From Caravels to Clippers As the Atlantic transformed from a barrier to a bustling thoroughfare, shipbuilding continued to advance. The Age of Sail, spanning the 16th to 19th centuries, saw the development of larger, faster, and more efficient sailing ships. Galleons, armed with cannons, protected valuable cargoes and projected European power across the ocean. Later, sleek clipper ships, built for speed with their towering masts and billowing sails, dominated trade routes, particularly during the tea trade between China and Europe. These marvels of engineering, capable of reaching speeds of over 20 knots, shortened transatlantic voyages significantly, further shrinking the perceived distance between continents. Section 7. Steam and Steel – The Rise of Ocean Liners The 19th century witnessed a new era of maritime technology, the advent of steam power. Paddle steamers, and later, screw-propelled steamships, offered a decisive advantage over sailing vessels, independence from the wind. Regular transatlantic steamship services emerged, reducing travel time and increasing the reliability of ocean voyages. The development of iron-hulled and later steel-hulled ships in the late 19th and early 20th centuries allowed for the construction of massive ocean liners, luxurious floating palaces capable of carrying thousands of passengers and vast quantities of cargo. These leviathans, such as the Titanic and Lusitania, exemplified the triumph of human engineering over the forces of nature. The Atlantic, once a daunting and perilous expanse, had become a predictable and scheduled route. Section 8. Beneath the Waves, Cables and Communication Conquering the Atlantic involved not just physical travel, but also bridging the gap in communication. In the mid-19th century, the seemingly impossible was achieved, laying a telegraph cable across the Atlantic Ocean floor. This groundbreaking feat, led by Cyrus Field, connected Europe and North America instantaneously, revolutionizing communication. No longer did messages take weeks or even months to traverse the ocean by ship. News, business transactions, and personal correspondence could be transmitted in minutes, further shrinking the distance between continents. 
The Atlantic, once a barrier to communication, now served as a conduit for the rapid exchange of information, ideas, and culture. Section 9. A Connected World. The Legacy of Conquest. From the earliest tentative voyages to the era of supersonic flight, the human desire to conquer the Atlantic has driven innovation and shaped the course of history. The once formidable barrier has become a bridge, facilitating trade, migration, and the exchange of ideas. Today, satellites orbit the Earth, providing instantaneous global communication, and air travel has made crossing the Atlantic a routine occurrence. Yet the legacy of those early explorers, inventors, and risk-takers lives on. Their courage, ingenuity, and determination to conquer the unknown continue to inspire us to push the boundaries of human achievement, to explore new frontiers, and to build bridges across all divides, both physical and metaphorical.